So, Greg, we have a decent deal, and you, you'll have heard me describe it. It gets us out on January the 31st, and it enables us to take back control of our money, our borders, and our laws, and all the, all the things that we were campaigning on, Giza and I were campaigning on in the Brexit campaign. But what it also does is it keeps us in a state of grace, a state of equivalence with our European Union friends and partners. So the zero tariff, zero quota arrangements that we have, the, the, the just-in-time supply chains, they remain absolutely there, perfect and intact. Five years to sort out of a deal with Canada. There's, there's, you we, can do it we, in five minutes? We have, a, we have a fantastic deal. We have a fantastic deal. We're coming out in a state of complete equivalence already with zero tariffs, zero quotas. Now is the moment to get Brexit done and move on. Well, folks, I hope you got the message by now. We've made a choice. We want a comprehensive free trade agreement similar to Canada's. And there is no need for a free trade agreement to involve accepting EU rules on competition policy, subsidies, social protection, the environment, or anything similar. The question is whether we agree a trading relationship with the EU comparable to Canada's or more like Australia's. And I have no doubt that in either case, the UK will prosper mightily. And can I just put to you one quote from Michel Barnier this morning, who said, you can't possibly be surprised by the requirements that the EU is wanting to put on Britain if we get to a Canada-style uh, trade agreement. It's all in the political declaration, robust commitments because of geographical proximity. We're not Canada. As for the political declaration, it makes it very clear that both sides will commit to high standards. And I think uh, everybody here this morning will agree that I quite laboriously explained uh, that in, in many instances the UK's standards are, are higher than those of the EU. A trading relationship uh, corresponding to Australia's with the EU, that, that is a, a new euphemism for no deal, isn't it? Because there is no trade agreement you can point to. We have a, a deal. Uh, we're coming out, we have come out on the basis of that, of that deal. If we had a trading relationship along the lines the EU has with Australia, that would be a disaster, wouldn't it? We would love to have a closer relationship with Australia. <laughs> yeah, but the one that you have at the moment, that would be a disaster for Britain and for the I, EU, wouldn't it? I couldn't possibly speak on behalf of Britain. It's British choice. Well, as far as the EU is concerned, that's no deal, isn't it? Dressed up. Um, I couldn't possibly say that. <laughs>